All right, here we go. Today we have Royce Reed, former cheerleader for the Orlando Magic and Miami Heat, former cast member of Basketball Wives, and Dwight Howard's son's mother. And as we all know, Dwight Howard has been Dwight Howarding recently. So welcome to Vlad TV. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, it's your first time here, so I want to start with the very beginning. So you were born and raised in Orlando, Florida. Yes, I grew up in Tangelo Park. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what was Orlando like in the mid-90s? Um, my neighborhood was, like they say, lit. Um, but it taught me a lot of street smarts. I grew up by the church, so I guess our street wasn't considered, you know, to be one of those streets. But um, I think... My dad's biggest, my dad's biggest worry when we were growing up was he didn't want us to grow up without knowing both sides. So um, I always went to a white school. We used a different address. Um, that's illegal now. <laughs> but I grew up in a black neighborhood, and I think that's where I get my strength from. Um, I think that's what's taught me how to keep fighting, and. Yeah, I went to school on a full scholarship. Okay, so the cheerleading, did it start in high school or earlier? Uh, I started cheering when I was nine, and I started uh -huh. dancing when I was three. Wow. Yeah. Uh, okay, so so by the time you graduate high school, you were fully, you know, kind of experienced and everything else like that. Absolutely, for sure. Now, FAMU oh. did, I did go to FAMU. That was a culture shock. So I wasn't used to all the, you know, like, down south stuff but i learned very quickly so okay so like you said you went to florida a&m mm -hmm. and you were cheering there as well right yes and i was also okay. in mahogany dance theater got it uh, what was the experience of cheering for like a huge school like that as opposed to just high school um i think definitely the audience the crowd um it's just unmatched. And I mean, you know, people say all the time when you go to these college games, it's going to like change your life or it's an experience that you can't forget. I think for me, my high school was really good in sports. So we got that side. We got that crowd. We got all of that. But I think going to a school where I'm cheering for people who look more like me, I think that's what really separated it. That's what meant the most to me. Okay, so you graduated Florida A&M, and what was really your plan as you were starting to graduate? I wanted, I majored in theater education, <laughs> so I was in the, the essential theater, and my goal was to eventually move to California or Vegas. Um, I definitely wanted to pursue dance. That's why I tried out for the magic, made it, took a year off. I went on tour with Cherry Vanilla, Dr. Pepper, and then I went back. And then I went to Miami. I got booked for a lot of stuff, and I knew that's the path that I wanted to take in entertainment. So just going from being in Orlando with Nickelodeon and Disney up the street, um, I just felt like I was destined to be on TV. Okay. And, I mean, at one point, you were just getting odd jobs to, to kind of get by. You worked at Hooters at one point? I did. I got fired. <laughs> How did how, how you get fired from Hooters? Um, so, you know, this guy, he grabbed my butt and I just politely pushed his drink towards him and he said I threw it. I mean, it lifted, but, you know, I really did throw it. I did. Okay. Yeah. And you're not supposed to do that. Okay. So what year did you actually join the Orlando Magic? I did our um, Orlando Magic 0304 was my first year. I actually made it oh. on my birthday. Okay, so you're around 24 around that time? 23. 23, mm -hmm. got it. Okay, and Dwight Howard was playing for the Magic? Not yet. Not yet? Mm -mm. Okay, when did he start playing for the Magic? He didn't start playing for the Magic, I think, until, I think, 05? Uh-huh. 04. Yeah, 04. Okay, so you've been there roughly a year, and then he joined? Yes. The year that I took off was the year that he joined. Got it. Yeah. So how did you guys meet? <sighs> I just have to tell this story. We were at Downtown Disney, and I was actually going to the movies with a couple of my friends to see The Notebook. And 
And I guess he was there with a couple of his friends. I know now it was iRobot. I kept saying it was Transformers. But he walked in and he looked at um, my friend and I and he was like, y'all in my book. And I was like, what are you talking about? He said, his yearbook. And I was like, no, I'm grown. And he was like, no, my magic book. I'm Dwight. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, I think she just said that. But I had a boyfriend at the time, so I really wasn't trying to, like, talk to him like that. And also because he had braces, he just he just wasn't it. So I went into the theater, and my boyfriend at the time, he called me, and he thought I was cheating on him. He thought I was at the movies with, like, guys. And so I went to the bathroom, and I'm, like, crying outside the bathroom because I'm you know, arguing with him, like, I'm here by myself. Well, not by myself. I'm here with my friends, blah, blah, blah. And Dwight walks up, and he sees me crying, and he's just standing there looking really awkward. So I went in the bathroom. When I came back out, he was still there, and he was like, no man should ever make you cry like that. And even then, I was kind of a beat to him, not going to lie. I was like, thank you. And I kept it moving. After the movie was over, they saw us outside, and I guess he'd been waiting for me, and I gave him my number. I was, I only gave him my number, honestly, because I was going to make my ex jealous, but we didn't get back together, so <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so your ex, did he play ball also? No. We went to okay. college together. Got it. 